for you guys. Oh, look at the steam coming off. Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Khan, and this is Cooking with Adam Khan in Liju. Those of you who don't know me, I I've owned uh, two restaurants over the past 12 years. Uh, Rocco's New York Italian Deli and Brooklyn Pizza Company. Uh, I got out of the restaurant business when COVID came around and things changed a bit. Um, very happy to be out of the restaurant business, but I still love to cook, entertain, and teach. Um, my strength really was teaching and training and things of that nature. So I kind of feel like me coming here and getting to do some of that with you guys is a little bit of that, which, which I love to do. So I'm very excited to share with you one of the dishes I used to cook at the restaurant. We called it Rigatoni Zingaro. Um, sometimes I called it Rigatoni Adam because I, I liked it so much and it was just one of those dishes that, that I really put out a bunch of. Um, the main ingredients were, of course, your pasta. We, we used some sausage, some mushrooms, some hot cherry peppers in it. Uh, I'm gonna put out some of the ingredients, show you exactly what we use. Then I'm gonna come up, go over and cook it for you so you can follow along if you wanna cook it at home. Super simple, easy to follow. I've set up all of these recipes. I'll post them as well in the descriptions, but I've set them up so that you guys can do them at home and make them for your family and stuff. Um, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, like, dislike, comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, anything you wanna see me make, feel free to, to let me know and I'll be happy to prepare that for you guys as well. So stick around, I'll get to the cooking in a bit and we'll see you in a minute. So right in front of me are all the ingredients we need for the rigatoni zingaro, other than the pasta and the gravy. So what we have is mushrooms, which I'll slice up. I don't know if you can see, I'll turn the plate. We've got butter, sausage, and the hot cherry peppers, which I'll, I'll slice all this up. And then we've got some cream. It's really all there is to it. Um, I'll bring you over to the cooktop. We'll cook it for you real quick uh, and you'll see how simple it is. This will be one of your family favorites for sure. Hello, hello. I hope everybody can see it okay. I wanted to try and get better shots of the food so you could see the cooking. If I cut out, I hope you're okay that you don't see me. Um, I'm just letting the pan heat up while we get ready to cook the, the rigatoni zingaro for you. I actually, I was in the mood for some um, spiral pasta, so I picked some of that up instead of actual rigatoni. It's just the name of the dish is rigatoni zingaro, and it's what, how we made it in the restaurant. So habit of calling it that, but really, you can use any pasta you like. I'd probably, you know, anything. I was gonna say I'd probably avoid like a spaghetti or something, but the reality is, this is something that's pretty universal and would go with almost any pasta. So pan nice and hot. I'm gonna add the butter real quick and get that going. All right. Well, look at that, you can see pretty good. And then we'll add the cherry peppers with it as well. Okay, let that cook for a minute. You guys will see how simple this really is. So we'll add the mushrooms and we'll add the sausage as well. And we'll let that cook a bit so that that reduces, you know, the mushrooms will shrink as the liquid comes out. And we'll get those all nice and hot and heated up. Uh, I had sausage already cooked off. All I did was slice it in the little slices like you see mix it in let that cook now use as much or as little of the the hot peppers as you want i mean that's to taste and the earlier you get them in kind of like i did that'll help get the the, hot, the heat throughout the dish and get it going real well probably need about two three minutes here so i'll give it a little bit of time from here really all we do is we add some marinara and cream that gives it a bit of a pink sauce the hot from the cherry peppers, the nice flavor from the mushrooms, the sausage, it's really a nice combination. And then we, we do the pasta, I toss it all together um, instead of putting it on top, like on some of the chicken dishes. And I find that makes it real nice and then the starch from the pasta kind of thickens it up and tightens it all together. Um, makes it really nice. 
stuff. Take a quick look there. It's getting nice and hot. And this is just the gravy that I made a, in, a, in another, you can check out that video. Get into the tomatoes a little bit and what you need to make a nice gravy as well. See that? Pretty simple. Maybe two ladles, possibly two and a half. Get that going nicely. I hope you all can see it. We have the cream, which will help give it that pink color and kind of soften it a bit. Give it a little bit of a toss there. Give it a little time to heat up and then we'll add our pasta. And that's about it. Pretty simple, I hope. Got some mushrooms, the hot peppers, the sausage. Really delicious combination. Now, as I usually do, I, I think I tell you, I pre-cook some pasta. I, I put it in the refrigerator with a little oil so it doesn't stick together. Then when you're ready for it, that's all you need to do. In the hot boiling water, heats it back up, gets the oil off of it so you're not mixing the oil in. And then I want to toss the, the sauce right in the pasta too and put that right into the dish. Alright, and then I'll bring the dish over to you guys so you can see it. sprinkle a little parsley and cheese on top to finish it off but I'll bring that right over here for you guys oh look at the steam coming off mm. it's a delicious dish I, I love it it's one of my favorites